this class is I, I do a number of drawing classes, but this is this is a class that was that was uh, designed to go with this book, The Magic of Drawing, which which I did a number of years ago. And this book is now out of print. You can't you can't get it. Um, I mean, I guess I guess you can get it if, if you go to Amazon, but you're probably going to have to pay too much or. But anyway, it's um, the last time this book was was printed, it was uh, was not bound very well. So when it's so it falls, it falls apart. I don't know if you can see that, but it falls apart and the, it's a great book, but it falls apart. So <laughs> I, if I ever get, get it, get it done again, I'll have it done by a different printer. I'm not going to use that printer again anyway. Yeah. So the the theme of that this class is called the magic of drawing and the magic of drawing essentially what i like to think of it as a class about the magic that you can do with with a pen or a pencil and basically in the class we are going to be using a pen and we're going to be learning all kinds of different techniques for creating a depth so creating depth on a two-dimensional surface. So you look at a two-dimensional surface and you see something that's three-dimensional. And there are basically seven, seven ways to do that. And, um, and so I was going to show you this morning just a couple, a couple of the things that we were going to do in the class. Now, the idea behind the class is that these are like the magic tricks that you can do when you draw that can make enhance your drawing and make your drawings more believable. And as you know, if you go to a magic show and you see a magic trick in a magic show, you think, oh, I wonder how that was done. That's pretty amazing. I can't, I can't imagine how that was done. Well, it's the same way with drawing. If you look at a, at a drawing and, and you say, oh, that really looks, that really looks cool. And then, but, you don't know what the artist did to make you have a, a, to put that believable image on the paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn those tricks in this class. And so the idea is that you're going to know those tricks. And, you know, if you if you were at a magic show and the magician took you behind stage behind the stage and said, well, this is how I, how we do it. You say, oh, oh, I understand. And then so the next time you see the magic, so it would not be nearly as exciting because you'd know how the trick was done. So it's like the um, fascination is in not knowing. And then once you take this class, you're going to know all the tricks and then you're going to be able to draw using all those, all those little, little ways of making things pop off the paper. So I thought I would show you one magic trick here and then see how much time we have. We'll do as many as we can today. So I'm going to switch to my other camera and go to my table. And so here's my, here's my table. And the first thing I'm going to do is show you uh, that this is a point. You can see that's a point on the paper. There's no dimension there at all. Now, if I go like this and I make a line like this, Now that is a line and there's a point there and a point there. And so the line begins here and it ends here, but there really is no dimension to that line. It's, it's a, it's a, uh, it's just, it's just one line. It's not, it's uh, well, it's two dimensional. It's, it's, you know, it has uh, a width and it has a height and that's it. But to get the line to look three dimensional or to make a three dimensional image out of it here here we can do this now watch carefully you watch this is we're going to perform some ma magic here now so i'm going to make it i'm going to draw a line here like this and i draw a line here like this and a line like this and a line like this and then i'm going to draw a line like this and a line like this, and you can see it's starting to appear three-dimensional, isn't it? So now I'm going to take, and I'm going to draw this line like this, and this line like this, 
No, and then I have to do another vertical like this here. And we draw a line like this, like that. So now, and if I draw this line here, like this, so now we have a three-dimensional image on the paper. Magic. So, so, and then, so now we have this three-dimensional image on the paper, and if I want to enhance that, if I want to enhance that image, I can use contour lines. And so I'm going to draw some d a density gradient here. We learned this in the class, how to do density gradient. So this is a density gradient here. Draw a line like that, and a line like that, and like that. And each line gets further apart. And they're like that. So that's a density gradient. And that emphasizes the curvature of that of this ribbon or whatever it is we're, we're drawing here. Curvilinear wall or whatever it is. So here's another density gradient. And here's another density gradient. You can, you can after seeing this today, you can try this at home. So there you go. So look at that. So now, let's do this. This could be fun. Try this. Here's one for you to try. And let's do one. Each one the same length. Look at this. Look at this magic. And here we go. And we have to mirror that that top line. It's very important to mirror that curve. Get that curve the same. There we go. <coughs> and there we go. And then the back line. And then these lines. And look at that. Now, instead of doing the front the uh, density gradient on the front, let's do it on the back this time. So these are these are contour density gradients. So you've seen the density gradient in, in real life many times, but you never called it that, probably because you didn't have to have a name for it. But, for example, if I have a, a square like this, <clears throat> and I draw a line like this, there's no depth there. But if I do this, and each one getting a little bit further away from the line is the last one. Now it looks like I have I have a flat plane with a horizon. And if I turn it upside down, if I turn it upside down, it looks like a ceiling. And you've seen this, you've seen this on the ocean. So for example, Let's say this is the ocean. Just symbolically representing, you can see how we use this. And you can use this in painting, you can use this in drawing. It's very, it's a very handy, a density gradient. Let's see what would happen if we did this. 
turned it upside down. So if you turn it upside down, it can become a sky. So, and then here's another, here's another one. Take a, make a circle like that. Now, is there any dimension there? Just flat, just a flat disc, isn't it? But if I do this, Then we have, now we have a, a three-dimensional, a three-dimensional ball. So these are some of the, some of the things we're going to learn in the class. Now, also, we're going to learn to do a, some, some drawing skill exercises, like for example, <clears throat> For example, hang on a second. So, say I do this. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Say I do this. We have. Um, and this is just to get you feeling comfortable drawing lines so here I'm pulling the pen here I'm pushing the pen here I'm pushing the pen up here I'm pulling the pen across here I'm pulling the pen down pushing across trying to keep the same distance from the previous line and also trying to make my corners nice and crisp you can try this whoop we got too big on that one trying to make this happen like this and so now what we can do is we can try this watch I'm going to try not to go to my corner. Now I'm going to go just like this, not to go to the corner. I don't want to go to a corner because that could make things confusing. So let's try to see. I'm going to go here, do this, and this. That, like that, like that. Isn't this fun? Look at look at how we can create three dimensions doing this. Look at that. And then finally, like this, like that, like that, like that. Like that. Let's see, did I get everything? Did I miss anyone? Nope, got them all. Oh, got this one here. Let's do this one here. There we go. Now, isn't that cool? <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Yeah. So it's fun. So now, some of the other things we'll do in the class. Well, we're going to be we're going to be doing some contour drawing, etc. And we're going to be doing uh, some hatching, some hatching exercises. What's that? Hatching is when you take lines and you, you put, say, let's just do this here. You take lines and you put, you put lines really close together like this. Parallel lines close together. So for example, if I do that, and then if I do this, go cross hatching, so look at that. So you can create a bush, say it's a, a group of uh, vegetation, put a person next to it, 
You know how big it is? There, look at that. See? All with hatching. I could do this with, um, I could do this. And then, maybe like this. And then look at how, how simple you can make a tree. Simple like that. Tree. So, okay. Robert, it sounds like, you know, a lot of these tricks, you know, these quote unquote magic tricks that you're teaching can be applied to like landscape. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any, any kind of drawing. Yeah, any landscape. Another one we will we'll do in the class, we'll probably do, um, we'll probably do a, uh, a palm tree. So here's, here's a palm tree. Tapered. And then we have the And then we're going to do the spines. And then we go back and forth. So any of these things that you're seeing today, you can try these all on your own and have some fun with it. So you're actually learning something today that's you can apply if you if you don't already know this stuff. So look at how, how simple it is to to do a palm tree. So then I can go put some textures on the trunk of the palm tree here. Maybe put some coconuts up in here and then maybe I'll put a figure down here like this and maybe he's got his girlfriend with him there we go so yeah and then and then all of a sudden we've got a hurricane <laughs> And then the palm tree goes like this, doesn't it? <laughs> Whoop. I better get that bigger like that. So there's a palm tree like this. And then, and this is what happens when the wind blows, right? So then you do the same thing. You've seen, you've seen videos of palm trees doing this in, uh, on the, and the evening news. <laughs> With the weatherman below. Right. <laughs> right. With the weatherman being blown. Yeah, right. They always go out there and they they brave the weather. And then of course some palm some coconuts are dropping now because the wind is blowing so hard, isn't it? And uh, we'll get to get some textures on there like that. And then people are people are because of the wind is blowing so hard, people have to, have to now they have to be like this, don't they? Going against the wind, right? Like that. Better watch out for that coconut. Who's it just that much time? Right, it's heading right forward. <laughs> <laughs> wind is blowing hard. Wind. Or, yeah, or we could just rename that 2020. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a lot of fun and, um, Thank you.